Hello friends, and welcome back to Resident Evil Zero, or should I say Resident Evil 2. In our last episode, we managed to get out of the sewers and uh, fought a giant alligator. No, actually no, we fought Birkin and we killed a giant alligator. Um, we confronted a lab worker who let Ada know that her husband John has passed and that Birkin was working on the G-Virus. Um, I jokingly say that the G-Virus he made was to give his wife an amazing orgasm. So, that's the G-Spot virus. I'm 12 years old. Anyways, the G-Virus he was working on, but if we, if we followed the story so far, Resident Evil Zero, you had Spencer created the T-Virus. He created the T-Virus from using leeches. He got it from plants in Africa and so on and so forth. Birkin and Wesker had um, Spencer assassinated. And then Birkin blew up the lab under, you know, basically blew up the training center. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I'm just remembering everything. And then someone had Birkin assassinated for the G virus. So I'm kind of wondering where the how the corporate structure within Umbrella works because apparently they have corporate espionage within their own company. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, and then we are now here. Where here is, is we're in an abandoned factory. Um, from the sewers, we took the Sky Tram here, and this is Resident Evil Zero's uh, factory where Rebecca first fought uh, prototype Tyrant. So I'm excited to see uh, what is here, you know, and how this correlates with Resident Evil Zero and vice versa. So, all right, friends, with that being said, you know what, you know the drill. Turn those lights down low. Put on the headset, turn that sound up, and let's see if we can't have a little bit of fun, shall we? And see if we can't find those things that go bump in the night. Let's go. Now, in Resident Evil Zero, this whole thing was destroyed, so... It seems like they got it working again. from Rebecca Chambers at all. Alright. Oh, hey, look at that. Will you take the C panel key? Yes, I will. Um, just conveniently placed toilet just here. Oh, we take the M bullets. Yeah, we'll take the magnetic bullets. What an odd place just to have a toilet. To be fair, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen the inside of an engineer's train. You know, like the 
to do to drive it, like what it looks like, the sleeping quarters and stuff like that, so. Uh, let's you don't need this right now. Uh, yes, I do. We push the activation switch. All aboard ship train.
seven rounds of uh, Magnum M2. It's probably going to be back on the though, but... Try to eat my face. Okay, we made it to the bottom. What's down here? Don't die on me, Ada. Come on! Wake up! Come on! Come on! Smarfed? Smaffed? I think this, this will say shaft, this is smaffed. Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But... You'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time. Probably collected really 15 minutes. You. Ada, I... Slow down there. I know. I'm not capable of caring about anyone. But... I don't want to lose you. How are you in camp? We're leaving this place together. Oh. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. You literally went through hell to find out what happened to your husband. So, or boyfriend, John. So don't give me that shit that you're capable of caring about anybody. Look at that. We pretty much got our magnum ammo back. Security manuals. Security manuals. Security manuals. Security manuals. There's security manuals. Will you take shotgun shells? Yes, I will. I'm really digging this music, though. Uh, will you take their herbs? Yes, I will. Here, shove that into Ada. We'll fix her right up. Security manuals. Hey, guys, you know, there's some security manuals there. Just in case. Guys I don't know. Alright, let's save. And then read some security manual countdown.
shafts. These ones are shafts, I bow. A huge breaker system that regulates all the power in the lab. The main fuse has been removed and the power is not active in some areas. Well, we should fix that. zombies now? That's not good. Well, you saw the room. He takes four seats, right? Yes, I will. Will you take the fuse case? Uh, sure. Uh, looks like a computer for organizing data files. Well, control box for super low temperature experiments. I could set the superconductor fuse here if I had a fuse case. Well, it's a good thing you have a fuse case. Take the main fuse. I will take the main fuse. Thank you. Look at that. Leon's uh, masters and something is paying off now. Zombies everywhere. Ada's gone. Of course she is. Where is Ada? Yeah, that's a good question.
you know, I have to say, for 1998, the uh, the destruction of the zombies' bodies is pretty impressive. I mean, the combat shotgun, like literally, each each part of their body is dismemberable. I mean, for a game, uh, most games today do that. <laughs> I think what's frustrating me with like the remake, and I, don't get me wrong, I love the remake, but like <laughs> the amount of bullets it takes to take down a zombie's head is ridiculous. And I get that they want to have, but like even here, like I have a lot of ammo, but it's like, let me, I don't know. Two or more staff are needed to be present to enter, commencing with fingerprint verification. We proceed, sure, why not? Not on file. Oh, see, dang it. Karen didn't put me on file yet. Um, but yeah, I, I think the time to kill zombies in the remake is just kind of ridiculous. Granted, it's a different game where you have the ability of being able to, um, uh, what the fuck are these things? What? Have the ability to aim at the head versus this one you don't, but even so. A headshot should still be a headshot, you know? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. What is going on here? This is okay. Oh, I thought it was dead. Oh, bad touch. What the? Yeah, no, you're. I don't think I want to go down there. fills the room. And we have now entered Brinstar. There's a reference for you. Hello? Ada? You sound different than I last remember you. Uh, you're not... Oh, shit. But they died the same. Is there more? I wonder how many bullets it takes. Working. 
damn, blew me into the next camera angle. Uh. We'll go ahead and use two. And done. A solid looking shutter blocks the passageway. Direct gateway to the underground platform. Okay. There's a disk slot. Monitor says insert a verification mode just to open the gate. Okay, we don't have those. saying like the labs in the Resident Evil 2 remake were like too clean and stuff like I don't know this looks pretty clean to me I mean outside of the factory but I think that's kind of the point like I don't this place is a lab it should be clean it's not like an industrial like rusted place so Map of the lab is available here. Will you file the laboratory map? You've taken the laboratory map. Oh, file. Okay, I was like, what? Tightly locked. Okay, this one's got a blue light, but let's check this one out. I can open it if I had the key. Let me guess, weapon locker? Probably. Good thing is, is there's a weapon. I have the keys. See if that weapon key opens up. Let's Alright. 
thing is, I don't know. Right now, I think I am enjoying this game better, but if I had to decide between the two, I think this one would win. What's this? We take the map, but look at that. Magna parts. Um, if I had to choose between... Um, if I had to say overall which game is better, obviously... Hey, you know what? We'll hold off until the game is over. I mean, Leon, do you really need to, like, wonder what kind? Uh, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious. There's, like, three guys there. Crap. Looks like a machine used for the... for the vaccine research. Uh, oh. No, oh, no. We take the lab car key, yes. I really hoping for. 
for some. Not that. Some ammo. Why would there be ammo in a scientist's place, I guess? A scientist's place. A lab. It's not like a fire. I'm gonna go to the scientist's place. the computer, yes. Umbrella Rotom system. Uh, cultural experiment room staff registry accessing interior username. This name is... Not in the interior username. Ah, crap. John. Um, Birkin?
Tired of these stupid sounds. User registration. Temporary user registration for the cultural experiment room. Username guest. Password not invalid for 24 hours. Well, I highly doubt it's going to be guest. A researcher's corpse that looks like he poured oil all over the place. Oh, good news is. Probably just pissed off the freaking alien. The researcher's bed. I don't need to that. Laboratory security manual. Laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed toward the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo and transit, all materials will be automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This, this route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. Disclosure about anything regarding research conducted here or the existence of the facility is strictly prohibited. Since it's a top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain extreme <laughs> circumstances. The council's as anti-BOW gas sprinkler. Okay. 
that's interesting. Dope. So much for the guy. Machines are all useless now. Well, my, my, my fault for turning out of the anti POW sprinkler to do that shit. But this is a welcome. Seriously, you're gonna give me five rounds? Yep. Not nah, gamey. The interior has been destroyed by the plant. Well, it's a good thing I put on the anti POW sprinkler that did jack shit. You unlocked it. Okay. Interiors and strip of the plant. What was the purpose of this room other than more shotgun shells, maybe? That's it. Some. Like that? Okay. See, I almost dismissed that. Well, then. Now we're Ripley. Ripley! top area here and then we'll call it an episode. What do you guys think? I mean, not that your opinion matters to me at this moment in time, because it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. So... B.O.W. Should we push it? Sure. Okay. Will you take the ammo disc? Yes, I will. Anything else in here? Act 
activate the VAM for base vaccine vaccine synthesis. Activate your VAM. Alright, apparently I don't need that right now. I'm probably gonna need to make a vaccine for Ada. She's probably infected with the with the Birkin G virus. Um let's do this. Use yes. And then pick it up. And then pick it up. My husband, I know what you're looking for. You came for the G-Virus, didn't you? But you will never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, Karen, where's that children. spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. Oh, not really. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're Today's so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. What agent? No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada you wouldn't do something her like for that. 15 minutes, bro. If you don't you want to be shot, really she just there. left you there. You're about to die anyway. <sighs> what happened? Shit fell. The self destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. to hell. 
I just don't want it blaring in my ears here. Um, okay, let's see. To get down, we gotta go to the red. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Yes, Leon. What are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you.
takes two points. Uh, that's probably a clear thing, I'm guessing.
good news. Here, eat this. Alright, that's gone. Oh, you got Claire now. Okay, guys. Well, that was the end of Resident Evil 2 Leon's story. Leon, uh, Leon A. Um, so, when we do come back, um, we will play uh, Claire's side um so then once we get done with Claire's B we'll come back and do uh Claire's A in the odds B so well, we'll stay here for the for the for the and I guess I'll just tell you my thoughts so Having played through the majority of Resident Evil 2 Remake as Claire, I'll say this, that right now I really liked the, um, I mean obviously the third person shooter and, uh, you know, the third person, the, per the third person targeting, you know, and seeing everything you're being able to look around everything and obviously that's a step up I, i'm not gonna argue that but at the same time some of the things that are missing in the remake are like you know being able to examine certain things and it says like oh this is a creepy picture of this or you know things of that nature um some of the other stuff as well like just the story overall just seems to be more complete in this one. Like, there's, you know, if you, especially the way they did Zero, like, I have more appreciation for Zero now. Um, that this, that was the original lab. So, but I'm not entirely sure what Birkin was exploding, though, so I don't know. But, um, but I have greater appreciation for. Um, 
so I don't know. I, I think at this point, story wise, I'm gonna have to say that the uh, the the original uh, by far is the better game. So that's an interesting. Oh, I got a ranking C. Um. Um, sorry about that. It was. Um, so yeah, we're going to play the player's side. So yeah, I am, I'm going to say that the original game is still better overall for the story package and, and things like that. So Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess uh, we'll we'll continue with Claire's B side and we'll see what's going on. So with that, and then obviously I'm going to I'm going to have a video that's going to conclude my overall thoughts of both of them. But right now, Resident Evil 2: The Original is definitely the better game. So right, the remake is good, but as opposed to like say the remake of one, um, it. it it's yeah, I don't know. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, you know, especially for you know Claire's story that's coming up as well as Resident Evil Three. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're going through the whole series. You know, so uh, yeah. All right, you all my peoples hang in there stay safe um and may all of your stories be glad ones and may all your roads be smooth and short wherever they may lead and may all your prayers protect you from things that go bump in the night <laughs> good night <laughs>